Though I've only had Tommy vlogs for just over a year, my life on YouTube has been quite a lot longer. In fact, my video making life in general has been considerably longer than that. Since a very young age, I've been brought up around cameras and camcorders. In fact, my dad actually bought a camcorder the year I was born, so there's some footage somewhere of me being like a few hours old. My parents filmed me growing up, and being a young child with a camera in front of you and people watching, I like to show off a bit. Oh, you're nice and clean. Okay, a lot. Then when I was about eight or nine, I started to watch some videos on the internet, not on YouTube, because this was before the times of YouTube. I was watching things on Google Video that my cousin had shown me. There was uh, strange faces and noises I can make, the Harry Potter banana phone thing. All of those old things that you haven't really seen for years. And I can distinctly remember watching them and wanting to recreate them myself. And that's what I did. I got a webcam and I just made them myself. <laughs> I had to do that. <laughs> yes, as you know, I'm only 10. Shortly after that, my good friends Will, Fraser and I started making our own videos inspired by Little Britain and we called it Big Belgium. Today we are doing a taste on Try and Soft with Jiggy Big Big Bottom. This Jamaican fellow will be coming in very shortly. At this time, YouTube still wasn't a thing, and I didn't really know how to upload to Google videos, but that didn't stop us. We kept on making our videos and just keeping them on my computer. We kept performing, we even entered the school talent show with a few more of our friends, and we won. The performing continued into senior school, and I made some very close relationships with Harvey and Kyle, and in year seven and eight, we started doing some sketches, and one day, we decided that on the way home from school, we should record one of these sketches. Aliens. At this point, YouTube was a thing, so this was the birth of our first YouTube channel, T and H Shows 101. We made lots of sketches and skits and completely random videos, and it started to get a little bit of a following. We dabbled in a little bit of vlogging, but we were mostly stuck to just doing our sketches and skits. In about three years, we managed to get 100 subscribers. In our eyes, that was it. We had made it. Once we got to 100 subscribers, we were there, we had achieved what we wanted to achieve. But we didn't really keep it up, and it kind of fizzled out around 2011, 2010 maybe. It was, it was quite a while ago now. But then in December 2011, I started to want to make videos again. I wanted to step away from the sketches, and I wanted to just do some vlogging with a camera and myself just in my bedroom talking to you guys. And so, on the 31st of December 2011, I created Tom Who Vlogs with a plan to do a video every single day for the next year, and on January the 1st, 2012, I started. I actually kept it quite quiet at first. I didn't tell anyone, I didn't tell my family or my friends. I didn't even tell Harvey and Kyle that I was doing vlogs. I was worried what they'd think because, you know, it, it, it's a weird thing to just do vlogs and I thought they might think that I didn't want to make the sketches with them anymore and then I was just leaving them. But eventually I couldn't hold it in any longer because doing a vlog every day is quite difficult to keep a secret. At first I just wanted to do vlogs for myself, just have something to occupy my time. But then, I started to get more views and more subscribers on this channel. In four months, I had gotten as many subscribers on Tommy Vlogs as I had on T and H shows in a whole three years. I found what I've been looking for. It wasn't the sketches that I needed to do. It was the vlogs. The vlogs are the ones that I'm quite good at now. Since creating Tommy Vlogs, I haven't looked back. I've just I wanted to keep on going. I completed my vlog every single day in 2012, and I've done a few this year. Not as many as I hoped, but I'm going to keep on going. So that is the story so far. I don't know what the future holds, no one knows what the future holds, but I can tell you, it's going to be great. <laughs>